Hey, hey, it's movie review time! So, this is our first movie review. Not really. <laughs> our second movie review. But our first one on our own, it, on its own separate vlog, because uh, we are starting our separate movie reviews on our separate vlogs. Uh, our first movie, second movie, is Devil's Tower, 2014, uh, directed by Owen Tooth, and it was his first movie, uh, starring Jason Mewes of Jay and uh, Silent, Silent Bob, Bob fame, and uh, Roxanne Palette. Um, so, and who I did, I've not heard of before, but I've checked her. She's done other things. She's even done a couple of American movies. This is a British production. It is about uh, a young lady who moves into a a flat uh, in a block of flats in, in England. We would call them the projects here, but um, it's a low-income housing facility that's some 30 stories tall. I think it was 25, right? They kept yeah. Keep talking about the 25th floor. Yeah, and the reason she moves in there is because her mother is an alcoholic, and her and her mother got her mother kicked her out basically and her father had passed away and her mother blamed the daughter for her father passing away they never really go into any detail in regards to that aspect of the story but that's how the whole thing pretty much starts right we never really know how old she is you get the impression that no she they was... do tell they do say she's 18 okay all right so the J uh, Jason um, plays a squatter who's uh, just hanging out in the, the building. There's a lot of squatters uh, in the building, a lot of drugs in the building. It's just like the normal home. The whole 25th downtown. floor is empty. Nobody goes up on the 25th floor. Uh, so it's, it, it's getting a little weird. You're trying to figure out uh, what's going on in the movie. Uh, we have um, some authority figures in there that you don't quite, can't quite figure out who they are or why they're there. So, and there's an ever-present uh, camera system throughout the, that the uh, place, but you never seem to quite figure out who's watching the cameras, because they keep changing. So, it goes along pretty well, right? And, but without it getting very strange, and then it starts getting very strange about halfway through, and we kind of stared at each other going, uh, okay, this is very strange. Then it turns into a zombie movie. So, yet the impression throughout the whole thing is that they didn't quite know where they were going when they started this movie. So they just kind of went with the flow until they came to the end. So, despite all that... We think, well, I thought it was a pretty good movie. And what my gist of what I got was, kind of like what Kevin said, they were going down one road with the movie, and it was good. We knew it was going to be a zombie film because we watched the trailer, so we knew that. And you would think Jay from Silent Bob was going to throw a lot of little spots of comedy in there. And there were, there were some spots of comedy in there, but it didn't get, he didn't come into his real comedic self until almost the end of the movie. And I would say by this time, um, the dialogue was completely ad-libbed. Yeah. It was, so, I mean, it was, it was truly strange and truly out there. I liked it a lot. I, I liked it. I liked it too. I mean, it, it was, it was, you know, like going down one path and then all of a sudden they didn't know where to go with it, so that's why they turned it into a zombie movie. But, it worked. And it was entertaining. It's not Oscar material. No. Um, it, uh, f for a horror film, it had all the right things that you need, a high body count, a, pretty, a relatively high boob count. What would you say, six or eight? Uh, uh, something like that. But the way they even brought the boob count it in just suddenly was kind of weird. It's like, you know? we're a horror film. We need a boob count. Yeah. So there they are. You know, and, and the way they bring it in without giving the movie away was like two people that didn't have anything to do with the movie, and then all of a sudden they're in bed together, and it just... 
I, I would have to say Strange. it was cold on set most of the time. <laughs> but besides all that, it had a satisfying ending. Yes, yes. And I, that's I always did like important the ending. to me. I did like the if ending. If you have a dumb ending, you ruin the whole movie. <laughs> you could have, a, to me, if the ending is bad, the movie is bad. I, um, the Mist is the one movie that always comes oh, to my mind. It was yeah. an incredible ride until you got to the end, and it was like, what were you thinking? <laughs> and so, it, you know. But this was a good movie, and I did like um, Jay at the end when he, he really, really came into his comedic self at the end there. Also seemed like um, about halfway through that you actually hear them saying, let's get this thing finished, let's get this movie it's like they're aware that uh, they had to finish it and they didn't know what they were doing. But that was part of the fun of the whole thing. Yeah. So, oh well. So, so stars? Stars, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to say three out of five. Your standard horror film, three. I'd say three, three and a half. Yeah. So. Good acting, love Jay. Uh, directing was okay. Writing was, neg <laughs> was negligible. But, it, it but had, I think it had a lot of improv in it. It had, it had, it had a beginning, middle, and an end. It may and, not have been the same beginning, middle, and end for the same movie, <laughs> but it, it was okay. And I think the acting was actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Very the much. acting was pretty good. There but was I some like funny Jay. stuff in there. There was some girl, a guy trying to pick up on a girl, and he's completely incoherent through the, the whole thing, but he never shuts up. And, and she's, she's on saying, her phone, and she's like, I can't hear you. And she's just, I, I, I can't hear you. And she's just doing... So, so but that, those were, uh, I don't know if that was what you call a, uh, uh, no, uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, recommend, it's a good, uh, right, don't expect, don't expect it to be, um, brilliant or, uh, even the best of special effects, but, but for, a fun for, one. yeah, for, for horror, for, uh, what, it, what, can't be horror people like us. We love it. Three, three, three and a half stars. Okay. Catch you Hope you liked it. Hope you like it. Hope you like the review. Hope you like the movie if you watch it. It's free. Uh, is it? We got it free on, because it was um, Prime. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. But it may be so. free on Netflix as well. Yeah. So, go by and check it out. Let us know if you do and what you think of the movie as well. See you next time.